So for the last couple years, I've been nothing but plagued with a miss in my motor. I've changed wires, I've changed um, computers, I've changed distributors, and on and on and on, and it always misses. It got so bad, it wouldn't even start one day. Well, through random guesswork, we discovered what the problem is. Now, what you see here, this is just a little extra line I have under the hood so I can bleed gas off the fuel rail, fill up my lawnmower, give some to a buddy, or purge the air out of the system uh, upon startup if you've got parts taken apart. I'm getting so much air inside the fuel rail um, that I've had to bleed this off about every half an hour while I'm jeeping, literally almost steam and air comes out of there like where is it coming from so this is the fuel pressure regulator high pressure pump on this side this is return let's see what it does when we turn on the fuel pump so, throw some power on it all right, so look at the air coming through there. Now you'd think if you cycle that a few times, you would get the air out. Um, but air is definitely getting in somewhere. Now I have two fuel tanks in the back. The bottom one has all the collection, everything in it. It is an external fuel pump. But I have the top tank full feeding into the bottom one with an inch and a half tube. So there's no way there's air in the bottom tank where I'm pulling from. So let's see what happens if we start it up and run it. Just constant, constant bubbles. Here, I'll, I'll pinch the line and slow it down a little bit. Whoop. Loose them out the back there. But You're good. We're good. Yep, you can see it. All right, so it just piles a bubble. So I'm thinking, well, maybe I've got a cavitating fuel pump. So we set up, I have uh, the same fuel pump on this bench that's in Super G. Um, and I use two different fuel pumps. So I've got a Bosch unit and uh, this one here from Napa, and it's a universal high pressure designed to be out of the tank fuel pump. So let's fire that up. We'll look at this fuel line. Your little wine. There, no bubbles whatsoever. But realize right now, I don't have it going through a regulator. So I'm gonna choke the line down. The fuel pressure system runs at 40 PSI. So we're gonna, there's a little valve here. We're gonna choke it down. Now, as the pressure comes up, here we are at 15. Look at the cavitation right there. As soon as I go zero, there's a pressure, it starts cavitating. You can hear it growling. Now I'm gonna come all the way up to 40 PSI. Whoop, I went. There's 40. Look at the bubbles coming out of this poor thing. Pump's nice and quiet, but. And I got that out of both pumps. And there's just no way you can drive all day long with that much fuel and air going past your injectors. Now we even set up a uh, a low pressure pump to feed the high pressure pumps and basically got the same results although this isn't the greatest pump so what I want to know is anybody else seen this problem uh, had this problem solved this problem um, it's just infuriating to have to bleed air out of your fuel injection system every half hour to go jeeping um, and, and, and the other thing that's weird is if you're idling and crawling around it's much worse if you if you floor it, you go fast, well, now you're running more fuel through it, and uh, so it'll run wide open, but it still doesn't run great. Um, literally brought me to a stop going up hills at 20 miles an hour. I give up. Suggestions, please.